Hi. Hi. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, welcome to the Renaissance Electronic Booth at the Embedded World Show 2023 in Nuremberg, Germany. My name is Ben Westhoff. I'm taking care for the RAMCU product marketing and I have the pleasure to introduce you to the latest development if it comes to AI and MCU, embedded MCUs, right? So what we have it's to brand new. Of course, of course, yeah. it's brand new. It's the latest you can get, the latest and greatest you can get right now. It's basically uh, bringing you the Cortex M85 core, which had been introduced by ARM somehow March last year, March, April time frame last year, and we have been showing first implementation on the actual silicon of that Cortex M85 core by June and better world last year, whereby now today we introducing the latest implementation having AI people detection implemented on these parts, right? Is it the first time that AI is on an ARM Cortex M? So no, it's that not, way? so let's let's refine that. It's the first time that anybody on Earth had ever launched a device with Cortex M85 implementation on silicon level. And secondly, it's the first one being on Earth again, and it's not on universe side, but on Earth, have implemented AI on this course. There's no other vendor yet out there offering you Cortex M85 implemented on an actual silicon. Right? So this is the running demo and I, I want to, just for the viewers out there, just to imagine and uh, experience this instant, let's say, I mean we are very close to that now, but the instant AI experience. So uh, let me press the reset button. There we go. Wow. That is MCU. That's half a second. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's very quick. <laughs> a quick quick at least and that uh, allowing you to have applications or to address AI, AI to applic vision AI, people detection AI to application where you have not been thinking about yet before because usually AI were implemented on MPUs where you have a kind of, or you have the audio loss, <laughs> okay, good. So where you had an MPU used, which had a kind of boot up time, 10 seconds for to get the Linux running or so. This is an MCU, an Artus, and the instant AI experience is the enabler for applications like uh, air conditioning, right? If you have an air conditioning control unit or a wall outlet in the, uh, at home, and uh, you're entering the, ho uh, the room, as soon as you enter the room, this guy is able to detect you, where you are, how many people are, and where are you located, so the ventilation can be put into the right direction to get yeah. you feel cool and refresh. Right? Another application may be video doorbells, where you may not be able to detect people approaching your house. You see people coming along, and you can detect that there is a person. Secondly, you detect the person faces, and with the faces uh, recognized, you can maybe ring different doorbell signals, right? Etc. So there's quite a lot of different applications out there which can be used for these uh, Cortex M85 with uh, AI. And important to recognize here as well, compared to these uh, Cortex M7 uh, cores out, this is giving you a general performance yep. uplift, a significant performance uplift of rough roughly four times compared to a Cortex M7 at the same frequency, right? That four is times. Four times. Yeah, yeah, that is an yeah. important point you need to take away as well. So therefore, this M85 implementation is now giving you a chance to make AI, vision AI, people detection, implemented on an MCU quite efficiently and enabling to address applications you've never been thought about before. Is it the most powerful ARM Cortex M? Yes. Ever. Yes. The most powerful ARM That's microcontroller. Up to now, let's say up to now, right? Up to now. Right. So next gen, maybe it's also <laughs> going on smaller nanometers than some of the previous microcontrollers, or you don't necessarily talk about the manufacturing size. I mean, we can talk about the manufacturing size, and we are using, of course, latest technologies for implementing our MCUs. This guy going to be part of the RA family. 
and are a family is uh, known as using the latest process technologies as 40 nanometer for example or even more advanced technologies in future products so yeah so it's uh, power efficient even though it's very powerful yeah of course because that's one of the benefits of MCUs having power efficient solution with a good power profile and everything is embedded and better flash and better RAM embedded accelerator called helium right so everything what is, is there. this accelerator that's a helium uh, vector extension part of the Cortex M85 core which can be used for I mean it can be used for different purposes but we are using it for um, accelerating the AI interference right so you can use it also for DSP applications or DSP calculation applications is it very special to add more stuff on the SOC and now add the a, AI stuff, for example, on the it's SOC? It's not an SOC. It's not. A, it's an MCU, MCU. I mean, from our point of view, we differentiate SOC and MPU, MCU. Sorry. So it's an. Um, yeah, that's. But so right it's an there MCU. on the MCU, you have the AI stuff. So right now, with this solution, as you can see, we offer a fantastic instant on instant on AI experience, right? You press the reset button, you have immediately performance out there. So there's literally nothing you need to add to make it a perfect fit device for various applications. I mean, this is just a v picture viewer, right? I mean, right? It feels like a Cortex-A. Yes, yeah. it's giving you the Cortex-A feeling, but it's the actual Cortex-M, uh, Cortex-M85 CPU uh, MCU experience. What's down here? That's a um, um, M85 based motor control solution with predicted maintenance, right? Again, using the Cortex M85 core with a predicted maintenance algorithm in there to identify if the motor turns and there's an unbalanced load or um, a, a dead bearing or whatever in that kind of motor you can recognize that and then based on that information you can call maintenance crews come along to replace that uh, unit in the field of course i mean to be honest this is not the typical motor you would expecting for predictive maintenance right this is definitely not the motor because it's a too small motor but that's the way it is for demonstration at the and better world show booth. You don't have the space to fit a large industrial motor here, right? So would you say this is the the star of the show? What do you mean? The M85? Yeah. yeah. I it's mean, like come on, this is the only one on Earth. Embedded World 2023. Yeah, I the think winner. A, and yes. Of new chip of launch. And if customers want to be a winner as well, they have always the chance to come along to our booth. Check out what our AMCUs look like and check out what our AMCU can do for them, right? So we are we are there to Mass help production. you. This device is going to be in market this year. Right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Welcome.